Hey everyone, today let's dive into a pressing issue that's making headlines across Southern Africa. The Southern African Development Community, or SADC, has found itself in hot water over Zimbabwe's President Emerson Minangagwa. As Zimbabwe prepares to host the SADC summit and Minangagwa gets ready to take over the chairmanship, the situation is far from rosy. Since mid-June, Zimbabwean authorities have been on a crackdown spree. Over 160 people, including opposition members, journalists, and elected officials, have been arrested. But it doesn't stop there. Reports of torture, beatings, and forced disappearances are surfacing. This wave of repression is seemingly linked to the upcoming SADC summit. Critics argue it's a desperate attempt to silence dissent and present a facade of stability to regional leaders. Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch have condemned the crackdown, urging SADC leaders to demand an end to these human rights violations. They're calling for the immediate release of those unjustly detained. The Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom, which operates in over 60 countries, has also slammed the situation, highlighting the ongoing struggle for democracy and accountability in the region. The big question here is, can SADC stay true to its founding principles? Allowing Mangagwa to assume chairmanship amid such blatant human rights abuses would seriously undermine the organization's credibility. Critics argue that SADC's silence or inaction would embolden other leaders in the region to suppress dissent and undermine democratic processes. It would also signal a blatant disregard for the voices of Zimbabwean people who are crying out for respect for their fundamental rights. Now let's talk about Menangagwa's track record. From rigged 2023 elections to failing infrastructure, education, and employment systems, Menangagwa's leadership has been heavily criticized. Zimbabwe's roads are crumbling, schools are underfunded, and unemployment rates are through the roof. Critics say Manangagwa was never the best fit for the SADC chairmanship, and many Zimbabwean citizens agree. Even Hakanda Hichilema, the president of Zambia, has voiced his concerns. The international community is watching closely. They're urging SADC to demonstrate its commitment to human rights by taking a strong stance against the crackdown in Zimbabwe. Failure to do so would have serious implications for the future of democracy and human rights in the region. So what's next? Will SADC step up and hold Menangagwa accountable? Or will they turn a blind eye risking their credibility and the future of the region's democratic principles? Only time will tell. If you found this video insightful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay informed.